Meet Indigit Swara. We found him in the corridor of New Delhi's biggest and busiest public hospital in 2005. Indigit was born with a congenital deformity. His bowel protruded through the stomach wall. <laughs> In the developed world, one operation would most likely have repaired Indigit's condition. But his father, Ram, had been trying for six years Indigit's entire life to make him well. After four operations, Indigit's intestine was still excreting from his belly. Father and son were on the medical merry-go-round of India's overstretched, under-resourced public health system. Donations totaling more than $33,000 were placed in a trust fund managed by the Australian Medical Association in Queensland. A foundation such as the AMAQ is unique in that every dollar that can be raised in this sort of way, uh, we will ensure that that dollar gets right through to where it's actually needed. Queensland AMA President Robert Sinclair was moved by Indigit's plight. That was just a heartwarming thing to see where people said, I want to help that little boy and, and this is, I want that every dollar I give you to go to that little boy. Indigit and Ram have only each other. Indigit's mother left home for good shortly after he was born when it became clear that he was a very sick little boy. They live cheek by jowl in a small room situated in one of the poorest neighbourhoods of Delhi. Distressing until the incredible response of TV viewers halfway around the world. It's November 2005. Backed by the trust fund, Indigit is about to have his fifth operation and he's not happy. Bitter experience has taught him the sight of a nurse or doctor is a sure sign that he's about to have an unpleasant time. <laughs> to pacify Indy, Ram rides with him to the operating room. As the medical team prepares Indigit for surgery, his doctor, Kapil Vidyati, reveals his concerns. Means that probably the child had a perforation during last prologue, last procedure. But exactly how much problem will be there, we will come to know only during surgery. Dr. Vidyati spends an hour trying to reconnect Indigit's large intestine to his rectum. The question is whether scar tissue from earlier operations will hinder the outcome. Outside in the corridor, a father continues his lonely vigil until yet another operation is over. I think we have been able to do a reason, reasonably good job, but, but uh, everything will be, we'll be able to know only when child starts passing school, whether the child is having control on that. Indigit is frightened and in post-operative distress. But Ram Swarov has high hopes. 
हमारे का जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी हमारे बच्चे का लाज चल रहा है हम हम अपना काम का कारोबार कर कर सकते हैं उसका भविष्य बना सकते हैं हम अपना भविष्य बना सकते हैं बट इट वॉज इट टू बी A few weeks later, there's been a setback. Indigit's stomach is still leaking, so he's heading back to hospital for yet another operation. Ram has brought some toys, but Indigit is wary and worried. वैसे बाता करता नहीं, वैसे शारे मारता है, कई कई बार शारे ऐसे करके मारता है। हमारे साथ मेरे साथ ऐसे क्यों हुआ? He's wheeled back into OR for his sixth operation. Dr. Vidyati is trying to finish repairing Indigit's intestines. The last two days I had been quite worried and I was all the time planning how, how to go, how to take the incision I could or talk to and discuss with a few of my colleagues also. Indigit, what are you a few days later, it becomes clear that Indigit's latest operation hasn't been a success. The stitches inside his body have given way. This is definitely a setback, but how big a setback it is will come to know over the next few days. Another month passes. It is January 2006. Ram, Swarup and Indigit return to hospital for a checkup. The wound is still leaking. Another operation will be needed. Probably uh, the blood supply of this intestine is not good enough. Okay. Indigit's body needs time to heal before it can be attempted. As the months pass, Ram carries out the doctor's instructions to improve Indigit's diet. Money from the Australian Trust Fund buys milk and vegetables. The key to building strength in a boy whose rate of growth, even by Indian standards, is below average. Last October, Indigit was back on the operating table. So, if I do it too much, I might damage the loss of life. Dr. Vidyati scheduled a seventh procedure. It's the last chance to fix Indigit's intestines. His body simply can't take any more surgery after this. The procedure involves taking two ends of healthy intestine and joining them together, bypassing a section weakened in previous surgeries. What's the success rate with this procedure? If everything goes well, uh, it should be successful. Uh, let us say about 80 to 85 percent chance of success. This possibility of 10 to 15 percent having a complication, but uh, hopefully everything should be all right. A few hours later, it's all over. Indigit is in recovery and Dr. Vidyati is quietly confident. The God had been very unkind to this child. Let's hope now uh, there is no further problem. <laughs>
three months later, Ram's prayers have finally been answered. Back home, Indigit is for the first time in his life playing with the kids from the neighbourhood. And there's another first. He smiles. How do you feel as a, as a dad when you stand here and watch him play with the other kids? He is very happy. 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 Indigit's intestines are now functioning properly. But some things haven't changed. He remains as painfully camera shy as ever. The remaining cash in the trust fund will pay for Indigit's education. Soon he will go to school for the first time in his life. He may be lost for words, but this little boy is healthier, happier and has a better future, thanks to Australian donations.